By 2050, India will have approximately 400 million more urban dwellers than it does currently. In China, there'll be about 300 million more urban residents, and in Nigeria, approximately 250 million more. Cities are at risk of coastal flooding, inland flooding, earthquakes, and air pollution. For an insurer and for the cities, understanding why these risks are growing is something which is extremely important. Our project with the AXA Research Fund is to look at city growth with a spatial lens. You know, where they grow, how they grow, and then you'll know which areas of a city are at risk of flooding or of other kinds of hazards. Without that spatial piece, it's just a dot on a map. This is the population of India in roughly year 2000. We see over time how those cities are growing. This is just population, but you can look at education or literacy rates, which would be very helpful for understanding resiliency. If you start to manage to cross them from an insurance point of view with a vision of where the industries are, where the natural risks are located, then you start to evaluate very strongly the impact of natural or man-made events. We know from the data now that we don't expect land to become any less scarce in the future. We might expect it to become more scarce, largely because of the climate vulnerability coupled with the demographic pressures in cities. Once you bring a lot of uh, data resources and information to stakeholders in cities, I think there's a lot that can be done. We are currently developing more and more research. We are able today to go back to cities to help them to properly evaluate risk, put in place some prevention solution, put in place some insurance solution, and support the resilience of cities.